Tim Walz, the vice president candidate and governor of Minnesota, might soon have new neighbors in Minnesota. A house listing appeared on Zillow at the edge of his property in Mankato. The home, priced at 379k, is located on Oak Knoll Boulevard, sitting on a 10,000 square foot lot. Built in 1931, this property features original oak wood floors, an exposed patio, a fireplace, elegant interior arches, and an updated kitchen. This home in Monaco is where Tim lived prior to moving into the official residence for the Minnesota governor, or next door to here. <laughs> the residence serves as the official home for the first family and functions as a state ceremonial building. This was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1974. The governor's residence fulfills two key roles for the state, providing housing for the governor and the first family, and it hosts various state ceremonial events. Tim Walls is known as the current governor of Minnesota. Born in Nebraska, Tim has had a diverse career that spans military service, education, and politics. Before his political career, Walls was a high school teacher and a member of the National Guard, where he served as a command sergeant major. His military service included deployment to the Iraq War, which has greatly influenced his perspectives and his policies. Wall's political career began when he was elected as the U.S. Representative for Minnesota's 1st Congressional District in 2006. During his time in Congress, he was known for his work on veterans issues, rural developments, and education. His time in Congress lasted until 2019, when he actually transitioned to the role of Governor of Minnesota. As governor, Walls has focused on a range of issues, including education, healthcare, and climate change. Tim and his wife Gwen have lived in Mankato and Minneapolis, and currently they reside in St. Paul, Minnesota's capital, where they're deeply involved in local community activities. As of August 2024, Vice President Kamala Harris has chosen Tim Walls as her running mate to join the Democratic ticket. So more individuals seem to be wondering more about Tim these days. Let's first look at where Tim was living in the main governor's residence. In memory of their parents, the two youngest daughters of Horace Hills Irvin donated their family home to the state of Minnesota on August 31st, 1965. Since the state had never had an official governor's residence, the house was specifically given for this purpose and formerly designated the State Ceremonial Building. The house was intended to provide the governor with a little dignity pomp, if you will, which are vital to the proper functioning of government. Before this, formal events hosted by governors were held in the governor's reception room at the state capitol, in hotels, or in the governor's private homes. The residence now serves as the official home of the first family and a state ceremonial building, and it was added to the National Register of Historic Places in December 1974. The governor's residence plays two key roles for the state. It serves as the home for the governor and the first family, and it hosts state ceremonial functions. The place opened its doors to the public for the first time on July 4th, 1973, with about 11,000 visitors attending the open house. In 2023, Governor Tim moved into the University of Minnesota's East Cliff Mansion, located off East River Road, and has already enjoyed some stunning sunsets over the Minneapolis skyline. Even before moving in, Tim had admired all the windows in this house and the view overlooking the river. He had recalled an earlier visit during his congressional career when he was actually invited there by then university president Robert Bruninks who lived in the mansion from 2002 to 2011. It's a beautiful home, Walls said. Tim, along with his wife Gwen, son Gus, and their pets, a dog and a cat, relocated to East Cliff on July 10th after the Board of Regents approved a lease in April, this was in 2023, allowing the first family to live there temporarily until September 2024. Renovations on the main governor's mansion, located in St. Paul, began in June 2023, and at the time were expected to take more than a year. 
Tim explained then, the foundation cracked and the whole house is sinking. Initially, the Walls family considered a lease in Dakota County, but when the timing aligned with the vacancy of East Cliff, they decided to move into the mansion. During their time living here, the Walls family has been encouraged to make the mansion feel like home, and reportedly Tim even brought furniture with him from the governor's main residence. Wall shared that his family was settling in last summer and beginning to personalize the space. He pointed out that living with his high school aged son, along with their dog and cat, Scout and Afton, brought a little different demographic to the mansion. The home is designed in the Georgian colonial style and over the years, the house underwent various renovations, but there was still some wear and tear over the years. In 1988, extensive repairs were initiated, but unforeseen issues caused the costs to double. The main house covers 10,000 square feet with the entire property, including the carriage house and summer house, totaling 20,000 square feet. The property, which sits on 1.6 acres, is valued at an estimated $3.1 million. Despite the temporary relocation, Tim planned to continue hosting traditional gatherings like Halloween trick-or-treating and decorating the house for Christmas as they would at the governor's residence. Where do you think they'll be hosting these holidays this year? Before living in the official governor homes, of course, Tim also owned a home elsewhere in Minnesota and reportedly he still does. Recently, it was reported that the vice president candidate Tim might soon have new neighbors at his home back in Mankato, Minnesota, which is the home that he owns. <laughs> he recently noticed a property listed on Zillow right at the edge of his own. The house, located on Oak Knoll Boulevard, is priced at $379,000 and sits on a lot just over 10,000 square feet. Built in 1931, this property offers original oak wood floors, an exposed patio, a fireplace, elegant interior arches, and an updated kitchen. Described in the listing as a captivating three-story colonial home, the house features original oak wood floors, a cozy wood-burning fireplace, charming archways, and numerous modern updates that add to the allure. This neighborhood also boasts a variety of amenities like the nearby Rasmussen Woods, the scenic Red Jacket Trail, and Dawson Park, which is just a short walk away. For today, that'll wrap up our look into the homes of Tim Walls. Thanks for watching. I'm Tara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram if you'd like to chat, and I'll see you all another time. Bye.